Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. This is the one and only Silo Man, the original, coming to you from an underground launch control facility in a former Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile base outside of Roswell, New Mexico, USA. Over the next roughly 16 minutes, I hope to be taking you through some photographs showing you what we've been doing this last, well, I'm going to say two weeks, where we've been putting up the kitchen cabinets. We've had to build a few walls and this and that, but anyway, you'll be seeing that all shortly. I'd like to say we're just coming off of a trip, basically a disaster kind of a trip, to Los Angeles, um, you know, in light of everything that's happening with this virus. Uh, before we went, it didn't seem to be all that bad. While, while we were there, it did get, uh, obviously, things went downhill very, very quickly. What you're seeing in this picture right here is that we did get the kitchen cabinets in and come to find out they were built incorrectly. So what we had to do is make some changes. Now we were left with either we can change, send back, and change the cabinets, at which time we would have to go then to the very, very bottom of the list in terms of them making the cabinets, but we chose to just make some adaptions, and that's what you're about to see. Here's the vanity in the bathroom. Uh, we haven't hooked it up. We basically just have it sitting there for the time being. And here we've got Carrie and doing some work on the electrical. What we're going to be doing is doing a wall. Uh, we're going to put in a partial wall across that hole back to, to square it up pretty clean and then go from there. Uh, our base cabinet basically should have been 36 inches and for some reason it came back at over 50 inches wide. So obviously you can see we're going to have some problems here but anyway I think we, we just about solved it. And here you can see the base cabinet is the one behind the corner Lazy Susan that you see the coke sitting on. And here Manny's working on the petition itself. And we got all the studs up. It didn't take us very long. I think it may have cost us maybe a day, day and a half. Um, but again, we just didn't want to wait. So this is what you have to do. So be prepared when you're working on a missile base. And here you can see we've got the base in and we've got the two corners in. And then as you can tell, we've got a problem on each one of the flanks. It's just simply, it was just done incorrectly. So we're left with, we're going to clean it up on the back wall, and then you're going to see what we're going to do on the side walls. And we're just simply going to go in there when we build this, and you can see Manny laughing. We're just going to simply come in with uh, new electrical, and then just tap into the old lines. Same thing on the plumbing, and same thing on the drain. We'll just bring it forward. It really wasn't that bad of a deal, but Again, when you're working on missile bases, I don't know what it is, but you be, better be prepared. It's going to take five to, for some reason, five to ten times as long, just because I don't know what it is. It's a missile base, and I've been working on them for nearly 30 years. And again, we're coming through, and we're, we're doing the sheetrock now. I guess too, I'm pretty, I, I need to be very, very appreciative of the team that I, uh, I'm working with right now. And that's, you know, Carrie, obviously a side owner. Uh, even though he's really into, you know, ZZ Top and us playing the air guitar, for some reason I can't get him in a photograph to show you all how very, very well he does at it. And then of course, man. But today, for some reason, outside, it's kind of nice to be underground. Yesterday was in the 70s uh, when I came in, and 
today it's a little chilly, the wind's blowing, and uh, it was raining this morning. So it's kind of nice to be getting all this last minute stuff. And then as you can see with these photographs over the next, well again, 16 minutes, you're going to get an idea of uh, these are the most up to date as of a week ago today. So in essence, the 10th of March is when the bulk of these, um, the week prior to that. So as of the 10th of March, everything that you're seeing here, we are completely up to date. We're just doing right now, other than doing this, that we're, Carrie and I are finishing up on the trim, which he loves to paint trim. Don't you, Carrie? See, you heard it, folks right here, live and direct. The owner of Site 10 in Roswell loves to paint the trim. And again, he's working down there on some of the sheetrock. And there, man, he's doing the mud and tape on the new wall. And Carrie's had a faux pas. Made a, a quick swipe with the brush and it went all over. And... and then there's Manny there finishing up. I'm just glad we were able to turn. If you look at some of this that we were able to do, is we turned almost 180 degrees and then wham, we were able to move very, very quickly on this. So extremely appreciative of how well this has worked. And now you see what we're, we're left with. He's obviously he's doing a little bit more. Carrie's kind of trying to tick and tie the electrical, which he's truly gifted at, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. I do, however, believe we do need to get him kind of a thicker pair of glasses so he can zoom right in on those, those faraway objects. And... Oh man, he's now where we've switched. We finished all the mud and tape on the new wall, so we're going around and conking some of the hairline cracks we have on some of the trim. And you can see we've already given it the first coat. A paint so she's looking pretty good you'll notice we've taken down the crown molding and we'll be putting it back shortly and then we're just going to come through and give it the second coat of paint came out pretty well pretty well we were able to turn that quickly on some of the faux pas that we received And again, still working around, you know, cleaning up all the, the little hairline uh, areas that need conking on the trim, the chair rail, baseboard, and the crown molding. And you'll notice the little stickums that we've got all the way around the column. We're just trying to guess where different, different points of the compass are, seeing who's going to be closest. And Manny's working his way around. And it never fails. This is really a two-pronged process. It's, you know, once you do one uh, one portion of the wall, then at that point you get back and look at it and you set your cabinets. And that's what we're about to get ready to do here. Uh, Manny's doing some of the painting, the first coat on, on the trim. That's the chair rail that he's painting now. And now coming around to the area around the doorway that leads to the plumbing manifold and where the hot water tank, hot water tank will be located.
see we're going around the top. And we got the cabinets, the base cabinets in. Uh, I think we've got pretty well worked out the electrical. Obviously, there's two complete circuits. Both are GFI'd. Um, you know, on the base cabinets. And it looks pretty good there. What we don't like, you may notice there in the corners, is some of the area that we're off, and it's about six inches. In order to make this come out really, really nice, what we've just decided to do is do parcel on those walls on each side, since the cabinets were done the way we wanted them to, to the measurements. Uh, we were left with a choice. So we went ahead and chose to just go ahead and we're going to do a partial at this point petition on each side in order to bring that out completely square. And again, finishing up some of the trim, the chair rail. And as we're putting those corner pieces in, you can start to see on each side what we've been talking about. So you'll see how right there we've gone ahead and just framed it out square so we'll make it a little nicer. Won't take too much extra time, but at least it, it, we don't have to wait all the time to bring in the, have them redo the cabinets. We'll work with what we've got here. So again, ladies and gentlemen, if you do decide to buy a missile base, which I do hope you all do, I mean, I, I will tell you this, it's one of the funnest jobs you'll ever, in fact, I don't even call it a job, I mean, it's just play to me. Um, and you'll see where we brought those out on the course. Because working on missile bases are, is so challenging. And in, in, in such a very, very good way. So when we get this uh, video posted or uploaded, um, we'll be absolutely up to date. You can see the, the second coat has gone on the, on the side walls there, and you can see where the little indentation is. And here you have it. We've gone ahead and put the bases in. We, we put it in, and see how nice and clean it is on the sides. We're about to put that one extra add on there in. And you can see where we've got the uppers. We've got the Lazy Susan in the corner, and then we've got the, the, the different ones on the side as we're coming across. And wouldn't you believe, on the other side, they didn't give us the Lazy Susan, so we have to wait for it. So, <laughs> I don't know what it was. It's just one of those things, I guess. But anyway, you'll see we've got the suit, we've got the two cabinets for each side of it. We just don't have the true corner unit. And we'll be getting it shortly. So, it, at that point, you'll see it. What we're doing right now is just finishing up on the painting. and Then probably quickly start on the uh, switches and the emergency lights and the lights and the, uh, the signage. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, I can't thank you enough for watching. Uh, I do hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, we're going to go back to at least one a week. I think now we've got this pretty well on schedule that you'll be seeing. And uh, Again, we're, we're gearing up for some of the neat stuff that we're going to be doing, you know, partly work on another site here in Roswell, and then we've got Carrie's site coming online. Again, thanks to Carrie, and thanks to Manny, and all you great folks for, um, for watching. And thank you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments or contact me directly. You always have my email and my phone and, or text. But anyway, thank you all again.